So you're trying to learn how to make an intro like this. Well, I got a couple easy steps for you to do that. DaVinci Resolve 16. All right, you want to make sure that your computer can run this. If it can't, you want to use DaVinci Resolve 15 or 14. The reason why I say that is it's still a very good editing program. The difference is 16 has Fusion embedded, so it's going to make your life a lot easier, but you don't have to have that, okay? So you're going to want to go to DaVinci Resolve. You want to go ahead and download it, see how it gives you a bunch of options. All right, this is the free version. Go ahead and download that. You are going to need WinRAR. WinRAR should be free, so use that to extract all of the files. And then after you've done all that, you've installed it, I want you to go to YouTube. This is going to help set you up for an easy time. I want you to type in free DaVinci Resolve Transitions, okay? First video I want you to go to. 10 free transitions from DaVinci Resolve themselves, okay? Go down to the description. Go ahead and go to the store. You're going to have to put an email in, and you can get 10 free transitions. Watch the video. Watch the instructions on how to do that, okay? Now you want to back out of this even better. You want to go to Mr. Alex Tech's video, okay? This dude right here is awesome. If you come to this video, he's got 50 free transitions for you. It's going to make your life a lot easier, and it's going to be a lot faster for you to get into editing videos so make sure you come to his channel show him some love make sure you watch the video follow the instructions like it do all that good stuff okay because he really made your life easy and be very careful while you're on youtube or else you'll end up watching charlie the unicorn again all right now that you've done all that what i want you to do is go ahead and open up davinci i went ahead and started this project just so that we can fit under the time constraints and make sure we don't waste your time okay um big thing is once you come in here i want you to check Kind of go through all this UI and make sure that you get familiar with everything a little bit. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click here, import your clips, okay? When you import your clips, you typically want your clips to be the same frame rate and same aspect ratio. Um, I'm, a, I'm pretty busy and sometimes lazy, so I typically just let DaVinci do all that um, and let them auto set it up. Once your clips are in here, you're going to want to drag them onto this timeline. Control A, right click. You want this render cache color output checked. You want to go up to playback and you want to hit render cache user. What that's going to do, see this little blue loading bar? That's going to render everything. Okay, it's going to be red at first. Um, and as it renders, it's going to turn blue. That's how you know it's ready. It's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to help you if your computer struggles to display things right here. Um, big thing about DaVinci that I like that I'll show you when you're trying to set everything up and start getting ready you need to split this clip you can just go to you hover over it with this this marker here where you want to split it you go to cut okay cut tab you want to right click this is how I like to do it and then you hit split there are faster ways I'm an old man so then I'm gonna select this side because I don't need it. I'm gonna delete it. Oh no, I actually didn't. I actually needed that, right? You can Control Z, or you can just drag this out until it's back to normal. This is why DaVinci is dope. It's like a more advanced movie maker to me, and it's very beginner friendly. Now we want to check and make sure that our transitions came through because this is gonna be a simple tutorial. Um, there's a lot that you can do with Fusion, which is special effects, and it's embedded in this program. That's why, to me, DaVinci 16 is the best free video editing program right now. But it's a little bit more advanced, so we're not going to mess with that. We're going to go with these 50 other transitions in order to make things look cool, okay? So I don't need this clip anymore. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now, if you want to make your video pop, especially for intros, I suggest music. I like music. Um, Typically, I can find it pretty easy. I go to, to three different places, okay? YouTube, YouTube, or YouTube. 
That's it. If you're a content creator, go to YouTube, go to YouTube Studio, and go to Audio Library. Bunch of free non-copyrighted music right there. If that doesn't work, there's a guy named Harris Keller. He made Stream Beats playlist. You type that into YouTube, Harris Keller Stream Beats. It's a bunch of non-copyright free music you can use on your channel, right? If you don't like any of those and you want something a little bit more to your taste, you can go to YouTube and type in copyright free music. Just make sure that you check the description and follow the instructions so that you don't get in trouble because you do need to give credit to the original people who made those. OK, that's how they get traffic. That's how they get paid. So make sure you do that correctly. Once you do that, typically there's got to be a point where you can set up either a nice highlight or a transition on a beat drop. That's what I like to do, okay? So we're gonna go to the beginning. We're gonna make sure this transition here, this transition is on that beat drop. So we're gonna keep zooming in. We're gonna bring this cursor over. It's gonna, it's gonna always zoom in on the cursor. See that? So we're gonna bring this cursor over. We're gonna zoom in. Make sure this is as lined up as possible. If it's not lined up, you can just take a certain piece of it. Normally it'd be this side, but I'm just gonna show you this because I gotta trim it anyway. You click it and you just drag it down, okay? That's all you gotta do. You keep dragging it down, dragging it over until you figure out if it's exactly what you need, right? So I know that it's on that beat drop. I've rendered everything. Now we gotta make sure that it flows, okay? So we got a lot of movement here and a zoom in on the face. So I went with, let's go ahead and mute this just because it's going to be a little bit loud and we don't really need it right now. Um, so I went with the zoom in because I figured it'd be perfect for a spiral transition because it's already centered on the head. Okay, so we see how that spiral transition comes right into, come on, spiral into this 2K clip. Now this clip here, 2K tends to have everything pretty zoomed out on the 2K camera. So what I did was I went to one of the most important tabs in this editing software. Click on a clip and you go to Inspector. Not just a clip, you can click on a transition, you can click on audio, everything in here. This is basically the properties tab or whatever. This gives you the details, okay? I knew that this was too zoomed out, so I went ahead and I zoomed in until it was correct. I changed the position until I recentered everything. Now, let's kind of scroll this and see where we are. So you're coming down after the crossover, you draw the defense, and then you hit him with a pass. Now the problem is, I don't know if you noticed, but this dude here, he's wide open, but he's off screen. That's a problem. But I don't really want to zoom out because I don't want to have all the other distractions, right? I really like how this video is zoomed in. So what did I do? I went to my cut tab. I split it right, right there, right here, wherever I split it. Go back to edit. Yep, right here. And then what I do is I give him his his highlight, his sunshine, right? I split that clip and then I moved it and I zoomed in on him so you can see what he's doing, okay? And look how that just easily transitions, okay? These are still transitions. They're just simple cuts, but they still count. These are still used for news and things like that. Even movies use them. It still matters. So now that we've seen basically everything that's going on zoomed in, we zoom out just to bring people back to what's normal, okay? And that normal, it's gonna be a green light. Now, because I've been doing all these cuts, I don't feel the need to do a transition yet because I feel like it's gonna kind of slow down the movement in the video a little bit. So what I did was I just cut straight to a fight right here. Now let's see if it'll play it. Okay, see how it goes straight into all that? And if I wanted to, honestly, if I want to make this clip even cooler, Let's go ahead and zoom this in even more. Let's let's make people really focus on what's going on, okay? You don't have to do it a lot, but you really want to you really want them to focus on this. So we're going to zoom this in a little bit and see if we can make it exciting, right? So let's see. It's going to have to re-render it. So we're just going to scroll and see how that looks. I think it's a little bit off. So what we'll do is we'll bring it over slightly because we're going to move into this kind of side right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Control S or you can go come up here, file, save project as, right? So now 
this is going to make this pop even more. And because there's so much movement, I want to go ahead and motion blur into another highlight. So this is an old 2K clip I took just because it kind of worked a little bit better than some of my newer stuff. So we went ahead and we just motion blur straight into that. Where did we get that? Or not motion, I'm saying motion blur. We blur transition into that. Where did you get that transition? Up here at the top, blur dissolve. With these pre preset uh, transitions, sometimes they don't really drop into the timeline well. I haven't had a problem with Alex's, but those don't. So what you can do with that, if it ever happens to you, Say so you drag this clip down, or you have this clip over here and it's not working. Take this clip right here, say it was in this timeline. You drag that back away from everything, and then you just bring it over this way. See how it easily just goes in? And then you just move it back together, and you adjust it from there. Now, one thing that I do like, especially for intros, I like to leave a little bit of the ambient sound sometimes. Um, especially if I say something funny or if I'm interacting with the party or the chat, it gives people an idea of what's going on with my channel and how I typically am going to react to different things um, and just gives them a little bit more insight. So we're going to act like this is done because this is just a quick tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do that effect I had in the intro where it's the video in the text. OK, it's going to really make your it's going to really make your video pop. Or your intro pop and so it's going to be a neat little thing i can teach you it's pretty simple not super advanced but it's going to make you different okay all right now that we got everything kind of back how it was let's go ahead and turn this back on let's unmute that um and then what we're gonna do we need another video clip just one last video clip okay we want something that's going on i believe i have that here Okay, this is going to be a Dragon Ball Fighters clip. See all that? Whole lot of motion movement, whole lot going on. It's going to be hella interesting. Um, because this is the, the end of it, I don't really want it all out. I kind of want the music to take over, right? So we're just going to leave the music like it is. We're going to trim this down because we're going to assume this is go already ready to go. And then we're going to fade this out a little bit, okay? We're just going to let that slowly fade out. Now for the part you want to see. I'm teasing you long enough. Let's go ahead and put a title in here, okay? So let's see, title, title, title. I think I like this one. Let's see. How does that title text look? Uh, title, okay, there it is. All right, after you get the title, go ahead and hit inspector for me. You can pick which one you want. Let's say we want to home, all right? Call this test. Let's see. Yeah, let's just call it test. All right, we're gonna increase this size right here, make it big, and then we're gonna go to, where is it, where is it, where is it? Video, and multiply. Wrong way. See, even I make mistakes. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to flip this. So we want video track one, underneath this move track down bam okay reason why you want to do this is because you want this to be over the regular video right let's change the multiply now see how it's all black okay so now this text is going to end up over all this we just got to change it back to normal bam all right and of course you can make this better with your own transitions um, by messing with the borders and things like that but this that's the basis of how to do it man you just add a text titles text from the effects library you make sure that all your stuff is on video two you make sure that the text is on video one because you want that text over top of everything you want to click on the video clip that you want to play behind this go to inspector video multiply okay on composite mode composite mode multiply okay and then you go back to text and you go to video you want to make sure that that's on normal and it's going to show up just like this okay so now before we see our finished product i want to just say thank you for watching um if you want to support this channel make sure you check the description and as always if you like that bitch like that bitch all right let's see how we did